Well, hello YouTube. I've taken another half day-ish and it's time to start getting this thing stripped down. So, if you've been following me on Instagram or Twitter, you'd have seen that the body kit's on its way next week. The Z300S body kit, which is going on my first EV, which is parked behind the camera. But this is gonna be the development mule for it. This is where I'm gonna put the kit on first. I'm gonna get it bolted up here. I'm gonna work out fitment for the headlights, gonna work out fitment for the charging points, work out what I'm gonna do with regards to number plates, uh, rear lights, get all of that stuff sorted, get the doors sorted, wing mirrors sorted, basically get this looking like I want the 300 to look, and then in one go, transfer it all over. Not paint, it won't get painted because obviously bits of the 300 will need to get painted as well when this gets painted or wrap, still not decided on that front. So the job for today and probably summer next week as well um, until the body kit actually arrives is to try and get as much of this body off as possible. Um, I'm also going to try and put the doors from this car onto the 300. I've got a problem with the door lock on the passenger door uh, of the 300, it won't open at the moment. It could be a simple alarm need resetting thing could be a mechanical failure but either way actually there's rust on the driver's door of the 300 which will need sorting before it gets painted it's also a little dent as well so we'll try and get the doors get the um, body off this get the doors off this get the interior out as well because i also want to be able to model the new interior i've got coming for the 300 uh, which you'll see me go and pick up at some point either in this video or a future video depending on when the ebay seller finally gets back to me and tells me i can go and pick it up so Lots to be getting on with. Uh, it's about five degrees in here. <laughs> it's cold, but not too cold, but it's bright. It's shining, the sun's shining at least. There is no rain. Uh, it's unusually not a wet day in the north, for now at least. So, overalls on, scruffy shoes on, gloves on. Time to start unbolting things. Uh, time for a little update because predictably this is proving trickier than might be hoped. So what I'm trying to do is get, well, all of these panels off, but I sort of worked my way back with the easy bolts until I got to the bumper. And I thought, back bumper, but just like the front bumper, two bolts, it pulls out. Not so much. Um, it is screwed. Let me see if I can get in here and show you. There are two bolts there that attach the top of the bumper to this rear quarter panel. And they are seized solid and you they are nuts and bolts and you cannot get a spanner on the bottom side. You can only get a spanner on one side and the whole thing just turns. So I thought, fine, I'll just unbolt that panel. Let's see if I can do light and pointing at the same time. This is where you need to be an octopus. <laughs> I thought I'd just unbolt this support strut here um, and then be able to remove the bumper and the quarter panel and then I've got access underneath here to undo those stuck bolts. So I've now undone the quarter panel and the bumper still doesn't want to come out and I can't work out why. All it took was a little brute force and ignorance. So the well, the back half of the car is off now, basically. Um, but I've now got to separate the bumper from these quarter panels. But at least now I can get inside there and get access to these very stuck bolts. Come around there. Ah, I need a bit of light. Basically, there's two very rusty bolts on each side. Um, but now with good access and not having to get into strange positions, I can get those undone and get these bits stored. 
not looking too bad under there actually. Um, well, I suspect I'm going to find more rot as I go. Um, on my last car, these bits were completely rotted out, as was up here at the top of the shock. That all seems pretty good. I think I'll probably find some rust underneath the uh, under seal, but actually, not bad up there. Some signs of rust up here though, on the other side. So I'll see what happens when I start to dismantle there. But overall, up here, I'm pretty happy with. So I'm gonna get the sills off, and then work my way back forward, finish up with bonnet. May or may not get the doors off today. Um, getting the back half off has been rather more time consuming than I expected. Right, almost everything off, no doors off yet, but everything else is there. So let me show you around. Rear panels off you've seen, I've not yet got in there to detach these. I don't really want to damage the plastic bumper mounts, which are very close to, or rather the, the bolts that are stuck go into. Um, so I'm still trying to work out how to do that. Don't want to put too much heat on it. Uh, wondering about ways to do that. Maybe a cold cloth, a wet cloth to keep the bolt cool while I grind the top off or something like that. There's also not a lot of space. Sills have come off, we'll come back to that. Uh, the little front quarters here. Bonnet off, that was an interesting process. Ended up using the engine crane. Um, ideally it'd be a two person job, but I'm on my own today and I wanted to get it done. Um, so that's off, um, which is cool. Lots of space there now. All the parts, well, they're not very well stored yet. I need to uh, tidy up over there at some point, but that probably won't be today. Um, big thing, big discovery today is just how bad the sills are. Now you can see down here, oh, the thickness of the rust that's come off. And you're know, looking at that, you can see there's holes in the inner sill and this is clearly a very important structurally. Um, honestly, this is decision time. Is this savable? I'm not gonna rush that decision. No need to make that overnight. Um, I could very easily sell all the parts of this car and recoup my investment. Um, but I don't really like the idea of scrapping a car. Um, so it may just be a lot of welding and I can take my time on this one, there's no rush. Um, so, and I do plan to get this car up on a rotisserie because I knew that a fair bit of welding was going to be needed. I just didn't think it'd be that bad. It's quite shocking how bad this inner sill is, given the exterior condition of the car and the fact that it doesn't seem to have rusted in any of the places that my original Z3 has. So, you know, decision time, because this is clearly an important structural component. Um, I know one person who might be watching will say, hand it over to a professional uh, or scrap it. Uh, we shall see. Um, keep investigating, make a decision. Let me, what, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this worth saving? Um, I'm leaning towards yes, since most of the rest of it seems to be sound apart from these sills. Battery trays, fine. Um, rear spring hangers look all right so far. I haven't totally investigated those, but they look all right. Strut tops look all right. Um, so it may just be some sort of welding here. And then the question is, is what do we do? Do you cut out that metal? Clearly you cut out the dead metal there. But for the rest of this, given how much has come off in rust, um, do you just clean it up and paint it? Or do you put some sort of reinforcing um, piece on the outside? That would be my temptation, would be to fold some sheet and although it might add a bit of weight, add some strength back in to what's been lost and welded up before the new outer sills go on, eventually when this becomes the EVGT. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. 
So that's going to wrap it up for today. Good progress getting the car stripped down, ready for the body to come in next week. And rust or no rust, we can still test fit the, uh, the Z300S body on it uh, next week. Uh, and actually interior as well. I plan to use this as a sort of model for getting the interior sorted. But all that to come. Um, if you do enjoy this, uh, please do like and subscribe. I'm enjoying watching that subscriber count go up. Uh, it's been good fun sharing this with you. I'm you know, wishing I'd gone back and shared the original build of the, uh, of the 300S with you as well. Um, it might slow, might slow things down slightly and it does stopping to film every now and again and set up tripods and stuff. Um, but it's really good fun getting the feedback. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll put some subscribe up here and uh, playlist links down here. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time.